Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I drew this golden retriever puppy using the Carinet Luminous Color Pencils. Now for this drawing, I'm going to be doing the main drawing on a Fabriano toned paper, that's the sand color. And I don't want to have a lot of erasing marks or a lot of graphite pencil showing on the paper. So what I'm doing is the initial sketch and drawing, I'm doing it on a regular page of printer paper. And then from there, I'm going to use stick it over my tone paper and I'm going to just use a white transfer paper to transfer the image onto it, onto the main paper that I'm using on the tone paper. So I stick down the initial printer page onto the sandpaper and as I'm going to be transferring, I'm just going to be checking that I'm transferring using an embossing tool, making sure that I'm getting all the main areas of the drawing onto the tone paper. If you stick it down, then you are sure to not make any mistake of having duplicate lines or losing your um, page line or like duplicating it where you have your drawing moves out of place and then you start drawing and then the lines are not in place or the eyes are not aligned. So stick down your both your paper that you're drawing on, your main paper that you're transferring the image on, as well as the drawing paper which you're using to transfer to the main that way you can ensure that you are keeping the lines correctly and you're making sure everything has been copied. So now I'm starting off by using, this is white transfer paper, so the white is going to get blending in, blend in with the drawing. Uh, you can also use a knitted eraser just to lighten up some of that white areas. So what I'm starting to do now is I'm using the luminous pencil, color pencils and I'm just starting to starting to work on the eyes and the general area of the nose and the darker areas of the puppy's face. I'm also going in with a white color pencil and I just want to get in those lighter areas so that I know that those are the areas. Because it's stone paper, the white stands out, so I know not to cover those areas with color. Now the reason why I'm using tone paper and especially this color, sand colored tone paper, is because I want the, because the golden shiver has got a lot of uh, a sort of brownish goldenish color and we've got some lighter tones in there this will help to create that depth and also it will help to reduce the amount of layers that I need to use of the color pencil to achieve the fur of the golden retriever puppy so I apologize for the lighting I didn't realize that there was so much light coming in from the windows and the camera was capturing that glare so you can see the outline and the drawing bit better when my hand shadow casts over it um, compared to when the light is on. But you can see what I'm basically doing. So you can see now I'm just working on the nose. I usually always work on the eyes first and then I start working on the rest of the animal portrait whether it's a painting or a color pencil piece. So now I'm just going in and working on the nose, getting the dark areas in. And I'm just also using the knitted razor just to remove some of the excess color that I added that was a bit making the nose look like it's protruding a bit too much out. So I just got rid of that so that it makes it look more like the reference photo. And then now I, in that point, I think when I was doing the part of the whisker area, I think my camera, I did not hit record. So part of that is missing. But basically what I did is just go through with some dark browns and also some of the tan colors of or the lighter browns of the, or the basically the cream color just to get a base color of fur. It's a little hard to see this as I'm applying this color because of the glare. But you can see it as I'm working on it. I'm just lightening up those white transfer paper lines. You can see I'm just layering in all the cream colors just to get the full color in. I will be coming through with a little more brown, or lighter brown colors in to define those or define the fur better so 
basically I'm just trying to cover in because I've got the tone paper so I'm letting some of that tone paper show through so that helps to create the depth of the fur as well then when I go in with the brown as I'm going in now I am now defining that fur and the shadow areas and the darker areas of the fur And that's a good thing about using a toned paper, especially if it's uh, it's a tone color that is also uh, that you can notice in your subject that you are drawing. It helps a lot to create depth and also makes it a bit easier that you don't need to put as many layers as you would have had to put on to white paper because white paper you would have to cover up the white and also try to maintain white areas where you want the white to show. So this way you've got the base color of the animal. Like for example this puppy and he's got a sort of a brownish tone and then you've got the cream colors coming over there the beiges and the lighter browns that's defining the fur and showing the color of his fur okay now i'm starting off with the ears his floppy ears and i'm just starting to also layer in some of the beige color um, it's a little hard to see with the glare but basically I put the layer of the beige and now I'm going in over the cream colors and now I'm going in with some of the more whiter areas because this particular reference photo he had a bit of white one of not pure white but this are, these are the more beige sort of colors that were in his fur and then I'm also just going in with some darker browns just to define those ears and the fur on the ears. Remember the, the ears are very smooth the fur so the fur must look smooth. So I'm just using the pencils to achieve that. For this one I'm not using any odorless mineral spirits to blend. I'm only using the pencil. Um, I didn't want to risk um, having any smudging because I want the, the defined lines of the pencil to show through. So there's no need for me to try to cover the paper because it's not white paper, it is tone paper. So there was no need for that. Only pencil we used for this, color pencil. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions, comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Till the next one. Bye.